guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dick Norris Buick GMC in Palm Harbor, Florida. And guess what? We have it. This is the totally new, totally redesigned 2021 GMC Yukon. This is really that sweet spot in their lineup. This is an SLT trim. But before we dive into this all new Yukon, let's talk about what the heck is going on here. So a lot has changed, obviously, since the Yukon was introduced many years ago. SUVs have really just gone nuts when it comes to the auto industry and what's selling, and there's many different types and styles. The Yukon, though, is really staying true to its roots, being that full-size three-row SUV, but for 2021, some big changes. I think the biggest change is gonna be what's underneath the back end of the business on this vehicle. It's the first ever multi-link rear suspension. Another thing you're gonna see is some new updated interiors, yes. Finally, thank you, GMC. One thing is for certain though, if you're looking for a three-row full-size, could it possibly be this SLT trim that's actually the better buy than the almighty Denali? So let's go ahead, dive in, and see if we could find out. Right off the bat, the styling still has the familiar look of the Yukon, but you could see those changes. Starting up at the front end of the business, I love the LED headlight design. Everything is blacked out on the interior. The daytime running lamp has that beautiful C shape, and I like the way they carry the color right into that notch. Now, as we drop down, you have a very interesting, almost looks like a golf club, like the base of a golf club, chrome trim, and functional side air curtains. So you know all those cars we feature on Rady's Rides that I always zonk, even sports cars that have fake vents. Here's a functional side air curtain, nice LED fog lamps, and then as we come across the grill, looking good. Now, on a GMC product compared to the sister uh, Chevrolet uh, Tahoe, you can see the difference in the grill. Lots of angular cuts here, especially along the bottom. You have the horizontal slots there, some gloss black vertical slots all the way behind that forward-facing camera on the SLT trim. Love that GMC badge, nice bright red. We drop down some flat black and then a little bit of chrome, which I think works great because you have the chrome in the corners, chrome in the center, obviously chrome on that massive grill. Now, when we get up onto the hood, super clean. I'm so glad that they brought the front of the hood flush with the grill. If you look on the Sierra pickup truck, there's like a gap and, it, it, and they filled it in with some, some black plastic. It doesn't look right. I like the way as it rises, it goes all the way to the windscreen, looking really clean. And then you have the higher peaks. Look at how it just blends nicely into the A pillar. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with SLT? So you're gonna have these hand polished aluminum wheels. It's a 20 inch wheel, 275, yes, 275 on the width, meaty 60 series sidewall. I like the amount of space that they have between the top of the tire inside the fender. And I'm so glad that they didn't do any flat black around the fender. It's got a beautiful body line, super clean. Now, as we come down, nice badging, GMC with that brushed aluminum there, a little bit of gloss black. Mirror caps match with some more gloss black. You're gonna get 360 cameras on this thing, so you're gonna have tons of protection as you're moving about in parking lots and whatnot. Yukon badging has a great placement. Chrome trim to match all the other little bits, and I like the stationary running boards. They're a good size, but they're good enough to where you can actually use them. So many vehicles, when they put a stationary running board, it's too small, too narrow, and a little bit of gloss actually just spruces it up very nicely. Now, as we work towards the rear, you can see how they flare out that rear aluminum trim. A little bit of gloss. They do a great job on a massive rear glass quarter window without it looking too obnoxious. That's gonna let some nice light in, especially for the third row passengers. And then to round it out back, you're gonna get a nice low roof spoiler. Look at this. You see what I'm doing here? How am I able to do this? It's because there's no windshield wiper, no rear glass wiper. It's actually nice and flush. I'm gonna have Victor peekaboo. There it is, we see you. And then we also see Victor probably in the reflection and now you're probably gonna end the video, but don't yet. Because Victor, you're not gonna see him anymore, I promise. I do like the LED taillight design. It does mimic the Ford Explorer. I can see a little bit of, of uh, Telluride and Palisade there, but it's nice that it's all LED on the, the brake lights there. And then across the bottom, you got your Yukon badging SLT, super clean. I'm gonna pull up my shorts here a little bit and drop down. 
chrome trim, and then I like the way they just kept it clean. Now, if you look at the Denali video, you do have quad tip exhaust, which you hear those sirens, there is a fire sale here at Dick Norris Buick GMC right now. They're blowing these Yukons out the door. Technically, I think this one might already be sold, but hey, we're gonna keep rolling with it. Nice and clean. Now, if you saw the Denali video, that one did have a quad tip exhaust and it did look downright sexy. I know that sounds crazy to say sexy in an SUV, but still very clean. I'm glad they didn't put any, anything fake. And then of course you got the cover in the center hiding all the tow uh, equipment. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this SLT. All right guys, before we dive underneath the hood, remember this Yukon, it's wider, it's longer, it's got a longer wheelbase, plus that magical independent rear suspension. But what you're gonna get underneath the hood are some engine choices. Now for the first time you have three engine choices. The one that we have is the 5.3 liter. So that's a 5.3 liter V8, 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. It's all mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 7.3 seconds. The Yukon does weigh 5,827 pounds. MPG 16 in the city, 20 in the highway. It does use that dynamic fuel management system where it could shut down cylinders. It's got a 24 gallon tank. It could tow 8,400 pounds. Out back, you got 323 gears, which is really nice to be able to, to tow whatever you need to tow, whether it's a boat, a trailer, I don't know, maybe just uh, tow a person. I don't know, do whatever you wanna do, but you could do it with this Yukon SLT. Why don't we go ahead, talked about the outside underneath the hood, let's get to that interior because there's some big things for 2021. All right guys, we're inside the 2021 all new Yukon. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, okay, this one's an SLT trim. You're saying it's the sweet spot of the lineup, which it really is the sweet spot of the lineup with the options that you're getting. How much is this one? MSRP, the way that it is optioned, is $64,000. Now, I advise you at the end of the video, watch the Denali one so you could get an idea of what the price points are between the two different trims. But let's see what you're getting in this all new interior. On the door panel, love it. You're gonna get that contrast stitching across the top, little bit of wood trim. I'm liking the nice uh, brushed aluminum style uh, decorative pieces that they have, nothing too gaudy. The armrest is soft, the stitch working is great, and then you're gonna have, of course, the optional Bose sound system. Look at the way the speaker cover just blends nicely into the front portion of the armrest. Some more of that aluminum trim, and then you're gonna get two door pockets. You have the top one for some, uh, maybe some uh, Little Debbie snacks, maybe some uh, oatmeal cream filled pie sandwiches or something, maybe some moon pies. And then the bottom portion, you're gonna be able to fit easily, I would say, three Jimmy John's, foot-long subs with extra pickle and lettuce and then of course a nice big old bottle of coca-cola to wash it down when you get to the dash big huge changes they listen to us the stitch work is great the wood trim is awesome perforated style material here stitching across the bottom let me open up the glove box there's your super sized glove box you could easily put two boxes of twinkies that's the amount of room that you have close it up and then look at what we have here all new 10.2 inch infotainment system screen. Now, if you're scratching your head because you saw my Denali review of the 2021 Yukon and you're saying, Joe, that has a totally different infotainment system, you are 100% correct. The Denali has a standalone unique system. This is what you're gonna get on your other Yukon trims. The great news is it's 10.2 inches. It's got uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you got your 4G Wi-Fi hotspot. Easily uh, one of the best on the market when it comes to cameras and whatnot. And let me just show off some of the tech here. So there we are out front with trajectory. There's our 360, which is great. And then you could go through a cornucopia. Look at that. Let me show you those wheels. Bam, bling, bling. So real nice. You're gonna tow. You could have your hitch right there. All the different settings that you could think of are in this all new 2021 Yukon. And like I said, it's super, super clear, which is great. Let me throw it into reverse. There we are out back with trajectory. And I like the way they just put that line right where your trailer hitch would be. Clear image, put it back in a park. Let's talk about what else is going on here. So if you notice, you're gonna have the push pull system, push to go into park, push to go into neutral, pull, pull for your directive modes, whether you're going reverse or drive. At first, 
it seems awkward, but I'm telling you, it's not too, too bad. I like the way they integrated it more on the Yukon than on the uh, Acadia because it actually looks like it's meant to be here. I do like the stitch work. You got your start stop button. And then I'm going to slide over to the right because look at this. They give you this fun little door because you have the controls for the, eight, the uh, transmission here. That's that 10 speed. But then we have this secret door. So it's felt line. You could probably put a couple Rolexes in there. So if you like to drive around with about $40,000 in Rolexes, just drop them in there. They're not going to get scratched. And then you just close it. Out of sight, out of mind. That's what I say about my Rolexes, which... Just for your, your uh, info, I don't have any Rolexes, so we'll keep moving. Two AC vents, nicely integrated. I like the aluminum look and trim. You're going to drop down. And what I love about GMC products, there's only one dev button. I'm always curious, what is this for? I think this used to be an ejector seat, but I think they got sued or something um, from too many people getting hurt from the ejector seat. But all the other buttons are functional, radio controls, dual climate AC, which is wonderful. And then look at this, ventilated seats and heated seats, which is wonderful. You're gonna get USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt, and wireless charging. So connectivity, they got you covered. My only zonk is, where is a nice sliding cover? I think some nice wood would have just, just polished everything off perfectly. You do have your two cup holders. Here is your GMC key fob, just as tasteful as everything else. Good size, it's got remote start. You could pop the back, all that good stuff. You could have your red horn make some noise as you're panicking. Armrest, soft. You got a nice little textured area to put your cell phone so it doesn't slide around. We open this up and look at this, party tray. So you could have uh, maybe some M&Ms, put some peanut M&Ms, and maybe some Skittles for people who want to taste the rainbow. Everybody's got a chocolate fix. Maybe somebody wants to taste the rainbow. You do have a USB-C and a USB, and you could easily drop a football in there. So if you're done playing with your football, Put it in here, it'll stay safe, it won't roll around. We'll put the party tray and that back in there. Close it up, seats, much better. Piping, piping, perforated. The material is actually very, very nice to the touch. Feels good sitting on it. You have your seat controls, easy to maneuver. And then this SLT also has your wonderful panoramic sunroof. So we'll slide back the shade there and it just keeps going and going and going. Look at that. Nice open air feel in here. Why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Yukon SLT. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your seat controls easy to get to, and you do have two memory seat settings, which is wonderful. Seats feel good. Same steering wheel. It, it, and that's not a bad thing. The leather is nice. Stitch work is tasteful. You have that GMC badge there. And if you notice, this looks just like the front grille. A little bit of silver, which I'm confused because there's none of this material anywhere else on the interior, which is kind of bizarre, but it's still a tasteful wheel, flat black on the buttons, and then the dash. I know everybody wants digital, full digital, but you are getting that large digital uh, display in the center, which you could then scroll through a ton of different information, which is nice, or you have your analog speedometer and tachometer, which uh, it has that GMC look, very, very clean. I, I can't complain. You do have power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, but why don't we get to the mid row and see are your passengers gonna be loving this all new Yukon? All right guys, we're in the mid row of the Yukon SLT. The great news is, is people are gonna get more room, not only up front, but also in the back seat, mid row and the very back. Wait until we get to that back, it's gonna blow your mind. I like the way they brought the leather all the way around. Nice large pocket, put a couple books in there, put a Texas instrument calculator or something. You got your two cup holders, AC controls, easy to get to, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a zonk for me. At $64,000, I wanna have ventilated seats. You do have two USB-Cs and that home power source down there. We'll close the door, somebody didn't close that, but I did that for them. I have my own pocket here, so I could fill this up with Slim Jims, and boy oh boy, am I gonna have a party as I'm driving down the road. I think one of my favorite features is where they put the AC vents. I do like the location in the ceiling. I just wish they would have done something in the actual frame just to get a little bit better airflow. But let me get this out of the back of my neck. Seating position though is great. Armrests are borderline zonk material. So you know me in the captain's chairs, you know me in the captain. I want just a little bit more width, but they're right on the cusp. If this was more, if this was just a hair 
narrower, it'd be getting a zonk. I, w I still wish, though, it was a little bit wider. But you know what? You have lots of flexibility on the sliding. And then you also, of course, can recline. It's just the problem is you're going to get a little sweaty if it's hot in here because there's no ventilated seats. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out that mid-row and see how that independent rear suspension is going to make life so much better for the people sitting in that third row. All right, guys, third row time. This is where the magic is going to happen. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pull up once, and then you're going to pull up twice, and then look at that. Perfect. You also have a button here. Let me show you. They give you lots of options, and I, I'm the type of person I like to have options. Let's say you don't want to do that. You can just do this. And then you do it one more time, voila, out of the way. So you have lots of choices. I'm going to use that running board, and here we go. One, two, three. The great news is, look at this. I have so much room back here, it is ridiculous. And I have the seat. You can see where the seat is. Plenty of room. The seat could actually come back a little bit further. You do have two USB-Cs, which is great. I have a cup holder and a little snack tray, maybe for some uh, pretzel sticks. Maybe some pretzel rods. Well, the rods are too long, but maybe if we got mini ones. But the great news is plenty of headroom. My knees are not in my mouth, and you have AC vents back here because we have been in some three-row SUVs where they don't have vents back here. So I guess they really want to torture somebody by having them back here. But you're not torturing anybody because the 2021 redesign has done the job with getting more room. Speaking of room, let's go check out the uh, cargo area and see how much space we have for your junk. Cargo time. Let's see how we open this real simple. You're just gonna hit the button. Nice electric assist. And the great news is it goes up at a good pace. Now with the seats up, look at how much space that we have. Actually, not too shabby. Now, if you're wondering, well, you're like, Joe, well, how much space really is that when we look at numbers? I like numbers. Well, here's your numbers. So you're gonna be looking at 25.5 cubic feet of space with the seats up, fold the, the third row down, it goes up to 72.6 cubic feet of space. Fold the mid row down, you're looking at almost 123 cubic feet of space. We have our nice little collection of buttons. You also have a home power source. So think about tailgating, think about camping, think about going to the beach, and now we're gonna push buttons. So we're gonna hit, look at that, seamless. First try, nice and flat. Plus, let's see what we have under here, look at this. Now you even have storage. Imagine how many Twinkies you could fit back here. I think you could probably fit about, I'd say almost 100 Twinkies. Especially if you're going camping. God, you don't want to be without the snacks. Seats are down. Let's go ahead and uh, take it to the next level, shall we? Boom. Look at that. That's 123 cubic feet of space. Go get that 90-inch TV that you want at Costco. Maybe you'd see if they even have a 100 inch because you could fit it back here. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. Let's find out how this Yukon SLT with the multi-link rear suspension drives. All right guys, we're leaving Dick Norris Buick GMC. We're in the 2021 Yukon SLT trim. We're really kind of talking about how this might be the sweetest spot in the Yukon lineup going the SLT trim because you're getting so many wonderful features, but yet you're not getting close to that Denali price. Now, of course, the biggest question you have to ask yourself, can you live with this over 10 inch infotainment system screen that is more of an iPad style design rather than on the Denali, you get the integrated screen that's actually integrated into the dash. I'm gonna say, you know what? If you don't need a lot of the other things that come with the Denali, you're gonna be pleasantly pleased with this infotainment setup because first of all, it's a great size. Second of all, GMC did some great work on cutting down on glare. Just a little bit of this silver, this brushed aluminum trim around the top and it's really not that high. I mean, here's my hand, and you can see I got four fingers that are that are past where the screen is, so it's not like it's real high up in your face. Now, let's see how the 5.3 does on acceleration. On throttle, 10 speed drops down. 
super smooth on the shifts. It's got that nice V8 rumble. And that's the great thing about the Yukon is that there's so many different ways to option this depending on what type of engine you want. Remember, for the first time, turbo diesel power is a possibility if that's what you want, especially depending on what you're gonna tow. But let's get back on throttle. 10 speed drops down and we are off and running. It's nice because I can feel the re rear suspension kind of sit as you get on throttle. And remember, that's all new. For the first time ever on a Yukon platform, you're getting that multi-link independent rear suspension. Now, with the vehicle being a little bit larger overall in all dimensions, of course, you're getting more interior space. I do like the way it's very easy to get to that infotainment system screen. I think with some time, you will get used to the pull push system without having the column shifter or anything on the center console to shift. It really does clean up this whole area. Visibility out the back, it's a little tight with those large headrests for the third row passengers, but if you put those down, you're really gonna have a nice clear view. The side mirrors are great, and of course you're getting all the wonderful safety features. I guess uh, the one thing that you know either you're gonna you're gonna miss and, and wish that you had it or you're gonna be fine with it is the dash. Now being an SLT, I think I'm, I'm able to swallow the non-TFT digital screen display uh, for the whole dash rather than in the, in the Denali. But you are getting a nice size digital display in the center of those analog tack and speedometer. So it's a really clean setup. It's just I know that so many other brands are being, bringing full digital TFT uh, virtual style cockpits. Steering wheel has a nice thickness. I like the weight to the steering. And really these seats, they did a great job on the comfort in these seats. All right guys, let's see how we do over this patched up pavement. You can see that multi-link rear suspension just soaking it up and then back on throttle, here we go, up the hill. So if you're asking yourself, do I need the 6.2? Am I gonna be disappointed with the 5.3? I think overall, especially if you're, if you're just driving this um, as your daily and you're not really concerned with needing maximum towing capability or just maximum zero to 60, you're still gonna have plenty of power, that nice, naturally aspirated, it builds very smooth. It's gonna be something that will get you out of people's way very quickly. The 10 speed shifts very, very smoothly. And I like all the touches, like the armrest, center armrest, the door armrest, the top of the door panel, all nice soft touch material. I'm loving the perforated uh, material on the dash. There's not a lot of objects in here that's causing glare, which is a great thing. That's good news. Driving in traffic, you're gonna love it. It doesn't feel like a massive, large three row SUV, which is nice. And it's really quiet in here. They did some extra work for 2021 with sound deadening, with the thickness of glass. Uh, so it's really gonna make a nice environment for you to get back and forth to work, pick up the kids from school, go out on a date, whatever it is that you wanna do, this definitely has the flexibility, especially with over 100 cubic feet of space. You fold down both rows, you got over 100 cubic feet of space, so go make the Home Depot run, go to Lowe's, go to Costco, get those large objects and you're gonna be really, really fine. Also, I'm digging that you, at this trim level, are getting uh, a lot of nice uh, technology features when you look at the tilting and telescoping steering wheel, ventilated seats and all that good stuff. But we're gonna get back to Dick Norris, Buick GMC to wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Dick Norris, Buick GMC. Definitely gotta thank Melvin Dean and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2021 Yukon SLT trim. It really shows that GMC has listened. They really made some big changes. And I think the thing that I'm even ha more happy about is that you don't have to go all the way Denali to get a nicely trimmed Yukon. This SLT checks off so many boxes and really you're gonna get such a great riding experience 
and for the third row passengers, they're gonna start loving their lives again because they have to sit back there because they have all that room. But if it's large, full-size SUVs like these that you wanna keep seeing on Razor Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Got to give it out to Crown Vic. He's out here in the sun. You know what? He actually had to take his crown off for a little while because he was getting really sweaty, but he kept working. So thank you, Victor, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.